Here we are in section 6-1, exercises 10 through 18. Here we're asked to just simplify. Now these are fractions that are being multiplied, and then we're simplifying. And the key here is that the multiplication simply attaches the top to this top and the bottom to that bottom with multiplication. So if we factor each of them, then the multiplication makes it as though it's all one big fraction and any factor here on the top can factor with any fraction any factor on the bottom all right so this guy is three times x which is just a 3x that's good that's already factored this one is a trinomial that uh, is leading coefficient one so it's x and x and then what times is to 12 and adds to 7. So if you times to 12, and that's a 1 and a 12, a 2 and a 6, or a 3 and a 4, that's a 3 and a 4, plus 3, plus 4. Okay, now on the bottom here, that's a 5xm. Any of those can cancel. And let's try this one. 2 times a negative 21 is a negative 42. So that's a 1 and a 42, a 2 and a 21, a 3 and a 14, or a 6 and a 7. And there's our there's our magic pair with a negative seven and a plus six. So let's write that out down here. Two x squared plus six x minus seven x minus twenty one. Chainsaw that guy, and we get two x x plus three. Factor out in minus seven, and you get x plus three. So this guy up here is two x minus seven multiplied by x plus three. All right, now everything's factored up on top. Yeah, we can cancel the x plus 3s, anything that's on the top and the bottom, the x right there. Um, and we're left with 3 times, so let's write the answer right down here. 3 is what we have left on top with an x plus 4 over uh, 5m and a 2x minus a 7. That uh, looks good. All right, number 11. Uh, can we factor this guy? Yeah, this is a trinomial leading coefficient 1, so it's x and x. Multiplying to a negative 14, we have a 1 and a 14, a 2 and a 7. We've got to add to a positive 5, so we've got to have a plus 7 and a minus 2. Here we can take out a 3a and be left with a 2a minus a 1. Uh, this guy right here is a difference of squares, so we get x minus 7, x plus 7. Good. Now, is there anything on the top that can cancel with anything on the bottom? That 3a and that 3a go. The x plus 7 and the x plus 7 go, so we're left with x minus 2 on the top, and x minus 7 times 2a minus 1. Excellent. All right, number 12. Um, hmm, this one's going to be, this is a trinomial with leading coefficient 1, so that's x and an x, and we're multiplying to 6, which means we could have a 6, which is a 1 and a 6, or a 2 and a 3. It's got to add to a negative 7. Looks like a negative 1 and a negative 6 will fit the bill on that one. Over here, we've got uh, leading coefficient 1, so that's an x and an x, and we have a negative 12. So that is uh, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, or 3 and a 4. And it looks like a negative 6 and a positive 2. So plus 2 and a negative 6. Okay, good. Does anything on the top cancel with anything on the bottom? The x minus 6s can go. And then one of these x's right there can cancel with that, and it'll take it down to a 4. That 3 will reduce this down to a 5. So let's see what we have now. 4 parentheses x minus 1 over x plus 2 times 5m. All righty. Nice. 13. On the top here, we can take out a 4x. So we get 4x, and we're left with 2x minus 5. Good. Um, on the bottom here, this looks like an AC method. So 2 times negative 3, 30 is negative 60. That's 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 4 and um, 15, 6 and 10, uh, 7, 8. Oh, we forgot a 5 and a 12. Forgot that guy there. 
And it looks like that's the one. We're going to have a positive 12 and a negative 5. And let's break it apart down here so we can write the factored form up there. 2x squared minus 5x plus 12x minus 30. Chainsaw. Factor out an x out of the front. 2x minus 5. Factor ooh, a 6 out of the back half. And we're left with 2x minus 5. Means this is x plus 6 times 2x minus 5. All right, this one up here, 3x squared plus 20x plus 12. Looks like we can take a 3 out of it. And we're left with uh, 3 times x squared plus 5x plus... Oh, we can't take a 3. I was thinking that 3 was going to come out of there. And it does not, indeed. So 3 times 12 is 36. 36 is a 1 and a 36. A 2 and an 18. 3 and 10, uh, 12... 4 and 9, 6 and 6. So that looks like a 2 and an 18 will help us there. 3x squared plus 2x plus 18x plus 12. Chainsaw, pull out an x and we get 3x plus 2. Pull out a 6 and we have a 3x plus 2. So that will factor to uh, x plus 6, 3x plus 2. Okay, now let's slash and burn everything we can. 2x minus 5 cancels. x plus 6 cancels. The x here cancels that one down to an x to the 5th power. The 4 cancels with the 12 and leaves a 3. So this entire thing, after we slash, look, this entire section went away. So we're left with 3x plus 2 on top over 3x to the 5th. Now, can those two those threes cancel? They can't. This one is being multiplied, and this 3x as a group is being added, so nothing in there can cancel over a divide sign. Wow, that was a pretty big one. All right, number 14. All right, what do we get here? 4x squared minus 9x minus 9. Oh, boy. We may need some extra scratch paper on this puppy. Um... This is going to be an AC method, and that one's going to be an AC method, and, and then these two will be a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and do them over here one at a time. 4x squared minus 9x minus 9. So 4 times negative 9 is a negative 36. So 1 and 36, 2 and uh, 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 6 and 6. What adds to a negative 9? It would be the 3 and the negative 12. So that becomes 4x squared minus 9x minus 9. And uh, oh, let's change that minus 9 into what we need. We need a plus 3x minus a 12x plus a 9, uh, minus a 9. There we go. Chainsaw, take out an x and we've got 4x plus 3. Uh, take out a minus 3 and we have 4x plus 3. So take the 4x plus 3 out, and we get 4x plus 3 times x minus 3. Oh, good. Now let's erase that little section, and let's do it again on the next one. All right. Um, 5 times a negative 14 is a negative 70. Negative 70 could be a 1 and a 70, 2 and a 35, uh, 3, no, 4, no, 5, and 14. That's what, how we got there. And then 7 times 10. All right, what could add to a negative 33? It looks like that one right there with a negative 35 and a positive 2. So that we would write this out as 5x squared plus 2x minus 35x minus 14. Chainsaw, take out an x, and we're left with 5x plus 2. And right here, we can take out a negative 7x, and we're left with 5x plus 2. So this guy factors into x minus 7 times 5x plus 2. Okay, so let's do and erase some of that right there. 
uh, x and x, we got a times to 21 and add to a negative 10. That's a negative 7 and a negative 3. Not a lot of other options there. And this one we need to pull out a 5x and we're left with 4x plus 3. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four factoring problems. But now that we've done that, look at what can happen. The x minus 7s go away. The x minus 3s cancel. The 4x plus 3 on top and bottom go away. And we're left with 5x plus 2 all over 5x. Whew. That did take a while. All right. The now number 15. This is a division problem. So when we factor it, we'll eventually have to flip this on, on its head. So this guy becomes, we'll just write that guy out, 3xy squared over x plus 4, x minus 4. All right. And then this one, we're going to times it by this guy flipped on its head. So if we take an x out of that guy, we're left with 4 minus x over and this becomes a 4x cubed. All right, what can we slash and burn? This x will get rid of one of those, and that x will get rid of a second one of those. So we now have just one x down here. Um, ooh, that x minus 4 and that 4 minus x look really tempting. They are almost the same. They actually cancel to a negative 1. And I'm going to do that in slow motion instead of just do it. If we took a negative x out of here, this would be a negative 4 and a plus x, which we could rewrite as x minus 4. And that now cancels with that. So yeah, the 4 minus x and x minus 4 cancel to a negative 1. Or if you would prefer, take a negative x out of this thing and you get negative 4 plus x or x minus 4. So what we're left with now is the negative from top, 3y squared. Again, they're all multiplying over uh, x plus 4 times 4x. And you can write it in the front or the back, either one of those. And we're good. All right, number 16. Ooh, this one looks kind of big. But at least they've given us somewhat nice ones to, uh, to factor. So this is uh, the top one here becomes negative 20 and then an x plus 5, x minus 5. Okay, we know that one. Uh, that one's already factored out. That one's already factored out. This one, it's going to be 3 times 20 is 60. 1 and 60. 2 and 30. 3 and 20. 4 and 15. 5 and 12. 6 and 10. Woo! And it looks like 4 and 15 are the ones that will add to 19 in the middle with negatives there. So this is going to be a, let's write it down, 3x squared minus 4x minus 15x plus 20. Chainsaw. Take an x out and we've got 3x minus 4. Looks like we'll have to take out a minus. What comes out of 15 and 20? A 5. Be left with 3x minus 4. So when we factor that completely, this will give us a x minus 5 times 3x minus 4. Okay, now because of this divide sign, let's flip and multiply and see what we get totally. We have a negative 20, x plus 5, x minus 5 over 5xm squared times, this guy flipped on its head, 15xm cubed over x minus 5, parentheses 3x minus 4. Whew. Okay, what can we cancel out of everything? The x minus 5. x minus 5 goes away. Um, this negative 20 divided by 5 divided by 5 leads to negative 4 up here. This m cubed over m squared, 3 minus 2 is 1. So negative 4 times 15 is a negative 60 x m oh wait a second that x cancels oh that's nice then we have just an m yeah let's those x's cancel over 3x minus 4 phenomenal all right number 17 
Okay, so the top is going to be x plus 7, x minus 7, that's a difference of squares. This one's got x, x times to 35 and add 2, that's a 7 and a 5. So a minus 7 and a plus 5. This is a 5x, and this is, it looks like we can take a 10x out of there, and we're left with x squared minus 25, and this factors into x plus 5, x minus 5. All right, so let's write this whole thing out. We have x plus 7 times x minus 7 over 5x times, this is now on the top, so we have x plus 5, x minus 5. Oh, and don't forget we took that 10x out of the bottom there. Good. Over x plus 5, x minus 7. Okay, what can we slash and burn? x minus 7, x minus 7. x plus 5, x plus 5. Um, and the x, and the x, uh, and the 10, and the 5. So this divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get a 2. So we're left with, on the top, a 2 from there, an x plus 7 from there, and an x minus 5 from there. Oh, we're not over anything. That's our answer right there. Well, over 1. Certainly, as everything divides off, we get 1. All right. And the final one, let's do number 18. Okay, um, negative 10 times x plus 5, x minus 5, good, over, this is just x squared plus 4, that's a uh, sum of squares, so we can't go anywhere, so times, let's see what we can do with these guys up here. We can take a 2 out of the top here, we get x squared minus 3x minus 40, which factors into x, x, times is to 40 and adds to, or subtracts to 3. Uh, I might have to write those up, 40. That's 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 4 and 10, 5 and 8. Oh, 5 and 8 do it. x minus 8, x plus 5. And that's, when we flip it, we're going to have these on the bottom, 2, x minus 8, x plus 5. Okay, so now we got to do this x to the fourth minus 16. That's a difference of squares. You have x squared plus 4, x squared minus 4. And then this guy keeps going down to x plus 2, x minus 2. Also a difference of squares. So on the top here we have x squared plus 4, x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, what can we slash and burn now? x squared plus 4, certainly they go away. Um, x plus 5, x plus 5, and the 2 can go into the 10 uh, 5 times. So we're left with a negative 5 on top times uh, x minus 5 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 all over x minus 8. Is that right? And you could have left this as x squared minus 4, I guess, if you wanted to, once you got that guy out to cancel. But that, that looks nice. Look at that puppy. Good.